Today we're gonna go back in time, many, many, many years ago, thousands of years ago, when men and women used to draw on the walls, on cave walls, and they use these beautiful signs and symbols to tell stories to their sons and daughters and people around the cave. So the first thing you're gonna do is let's create a cave texture wall. Nope, get your sheets of paper okay. and scrunch it up. Scrunch it up. Scrunch it up. Stretch it out on the table. Good. Now you have your wall texture. What I separated for both of you, first of all, is charcoal. charcoal. Oh. The same one as we use for barbecue. We've also got some pastels, but we're gonna focus first with the charcoal. Charcoal can be found in many places, including the ones that we use for barbecue. So using these little signs and symbols that, that were already discovered as part of cave art in different parts of the world, you're now gonna select a few and start designing them. All right, now the charcoal. Why do we choose to use charcoal, Alice? Because the men didn't have like markers. They didn't. Pastels. Right, so this where I would think. they find the charcoal to draw on the walls? On the trees, from the floor, fire. Yeah, fire that they created also as and part of their... They could even use mud to paint. Exactly, they used a lot of natural materials, some of which you've already done with a pigments lesson, but let's use charcoal to start off. Off you go. So Nicole, through your use of images and signs and symbols, what is your story? A bull was walking quietly, eating his grass. The sun was growing the grass. The grass got bigger every second. And then he ate the grass. And then somehow this horse myth human. horse human came. And then that was a bad horse human, right? I guess. And then he came and then he shot the bull right here. So once upon a time, the sun was bright, shining as bright as it could. Then the bee was tumbling, the elephant mosquito with mosquito heads was eating the grass that was so long because he's so big. And that's my story. Let's see what story you can tell by using these signs and symbols. Once you've finished, take a photograph of it and upload to Seesaw. Have fun!